Hello everyone, welcome to jobskillshare.org where we teach, learn and share our job skills. Today we will talk about Google Cloud Platform and the section we are going to discuss in this basic training. Uh, it's going to be Compute Engine. Compute Engine is like, think about if you're learning from the help desk course, we talked about VirtualBox, right? This is something that you install on your desktop and on your desktop then you install inside this software this this virtual box manager you basically install more operating systems and then you start managing it you can take a snapshot you can take a clone and you did a lot of uh, practice in this and that is only in your desktop now we're moving ahead in cloud uh, when they call it cloud technologies this is basically the same thing there's a data center there's some big servers running and on top of that these technologies are running so you basically uh, from your web browser you're just accessing something like this this is your software on desktop but you're accessing this virtual compute engine from your web browser to their server that is the only difference and then they have more advanced features which where we are going to discuss that in not in in this video we'll just do basic stuff but in future when we do a course on on a compute engine only then we will discuss everything in very detail so why would people use this it makes things very easier uh, for small companies when they don't have uh, a budget to kind of for the data centers that's one for them and then there's this can be a mixed environment also for big companies where they will utilize some of their uh, resources they'll move it to the cloud so then they can run it from servers from multiple places and things like that it can be used in many many ways and one of the biggest examples is the Amazon AWS environment and that's pretty big Google is trying to get there I guess that's their competitor now so now we have a lot of Azure for Microsoft so you have a lot of things going on here today we'll just talk about compute engine in Google Cloud Platform alright let's get started so you know to first of all let me delete this um, one instance that's running so you just delete it from here actually I want to do it so that you guys can see exactly from scratch you know uh, let's say for example you have a scenario where you need to create a domain controller for the small company and you need to do like other things like you know uh, SCCM server and other servers you need to just create that for them so this is what you will see when you get to the compute engine the first thing you need to click on create instance so then you can start from here but to quickly show you guys you can also start from images first you want to see what do they have Google have what kind of uh, images so you can come here and you can see right here all these CentOS uh, they have um, Red Hat uh, Debian and all the way on the bottom they have Windows Server 2008 and 2012 so to get started as you can see the name of it is images so you don't need to do a lot of installations they're already done the installation all you have to do is to set up your image and in a minute you'll have a server running so you'll click on it here and you click create instance once you click on create instance you can name the instance so for example this is your domain controller I'm gonna call it DC1 domain controller 1 and then you can basically change the CPU size you can give it two CPUs right there and you can change the disk space right here and you can change a lot of other things from here like management disk and then click on create and basically about a minute or two you'll have a full server running on your uh, virtual uh, compute engine and that's online you'll get an IP address and then through that IP address you can whenever you have internet connection from anywhere you can just go to your computer you'll click on remote desktop connection you'll put the IP address in there and then after that once you do that you'll see you can get in to your um, compute engine server through that IP address as you can see in a minute we have IP address here and we have um, basically to get into this server now you need a username and uh, admin password this is a local uh, work group server there's no domain controller running on it you just have to do that one other thing that you, I will suggest you guys to think about is I mean this is like you know now you have to learn about this type of environment like you know we are we are pretty sure now we can safely say that a lot of companies are using VMware for their servers now so as a system admin you're also working on VMware a lot of things are you working on it you need to know a lot of you know uh, how to use VMware stuff so this is going to be in future we'll see that we will have a VMware cloud going on now and we have a cloud servers running on Google now so you'll have to kind of do kind of 
get used to this environment where people will say, hey, can you spin another server? We need to do this. And you'll just do the same process what I did. And then you just need to know about the server itself is right here. The server is running here. So that's another part of system admin where you need to learn about. But that we're not discussing servers here. We just need to kind of play around with this virtual site. To get to the server, all you have to do is to click on these three dots here and then click Create or Reset Windows Password. You'll click on that. You'll name whatever you want to name as a username and click on Set. Once you do that, you see you have a very nice password coming here. All you have to do is, now this is where I want you guys to uh, learning. This is a learning part right here. A lot of people will do this, okay? They'll do this copy it and then close it right now when I get to this server like I told you as you can copy this IP or you can click on RDP you click on this link right on top you open it and then what you want to do is to click on connect change the username here to whatever you want you put it because you see on the top the IP address is correct this is the name that I want to log in this is the password and I'm gonna click on this oh I didn't I can't, can't connect it now here's a person would get you know, you will start troubleshooting, you will do everything, the password is correct. You know, one thing you should do is to get the password and type it down. I'm sure that's going to solve the issue. But what other things that can happen is when you copy paste, when you did a copy paste and you right click and paste it, look at this. There's a space that I just, when I did that quickly, a lot of people even with experience, they will do this mistake and they will put the space in there and then you'll start troubleshooting it and you'll find out, oh my god, I just put the space in there, that was the reason, you know. So always either type the password if you're not sure or copy paste it in a notepad like this and you'll, you'll figure that there's a space out there. Uh, and that's not just this scenario, it could be any other scenarios where, do you, where you do copy pasting passwords and you'll spend very good time and then later you'll just uh, find out that you did a mistake there. Now when I do copy paste here, you see I can get to the server and bam, I have a server running. Without talking, I mean this would be a, a few minute job if I wasn't talking and just doing this. In a few minutes I would have server running right now. And from there on, this is more of a server skills, Microsoft server related uh, learning that you have done in the courses. So you will just apply that and make a domain controller and then move on. But you see how easy it is now without any physical need you know without any physical uh, you know nothing physical over here I have done everything from one browser and I have a server running and I can do a lot of things that's the power of virtualization where you want to focus as a helpless person or anyone who was in entry level you want to do your job normal day-to-day -day stuff you'll get better than that but at the same time you want to learn better technologies which where you can see yourself in future uh, applying for better advanced uh, jobs you know more pay I mean I would say a lot of people are going to that route unless you feel like you love help this and you want to be in that field it's your choice so what other things can happen with this you did a lot of work let's say eight hours of work you did a domain controller you installed a bunch of servers now you need to take a backup of those server how do you do that same way in a virtual box when we do clone or VM or, uh, VMware you do snapshot click on clone right here or make a clone right here here you have another the option right here snapshot or you can go to disk right here click on the disk and click on these three dots and click create snapshot that's the same you see this is the running the server running right now or you can click on create snapshot click on create snapshot and select the disk dz1 this is the one and I can just name it whatever I want and I'll just click on create and it will just create a snapshot. Now, I've already done some snapshots right here. You can see there's a lot of it running. I have to do some testing. But this is how it is. So let's say tomorrow another person come to your work and you feel like this is some kind of test environment. I mean, of course, that it won't happen like this. But I'm just saying, you know, some crazy things happen or maybe virus or something like that happens. And they just click on it and just delete this, you know. Just gonna stop and delete. You know, this this will get deleted. Oh my God! You know, you come in the morning and you're like, Oh my God! All my nine hours of work and I did something for my lab. The guy was like, Oh, you know, I thought this was just a lab environment. Oh, no worries, man. I I took a snapshot. I can just go back here, and then basically, you know, get the sorry. We got the VM instances right here. You can cl create instance. Once you click on create instance, you can just come on top right here. Click change. You will 
you'll change the name right here of course click on change and then snapshot and then click the snapshot that you have took and then click select and just create instance and this is how easy it is and after that if you want to make it even more easier like you know these options you want to make it in one template you can do instance template that's the same where in like VMware you have templates different type of templates you can do that template here uh, from this the main thing about this compute engine in this training we just wanted to discuss how to create um, VM uh, and then kind of like give you guys scenarios and basically VM instance is the main part here this snapshot images the other stuff are just like you know getting settings like for reporting health check like you know if something goes down you should get a, some kind of a notification uh, things like that like I said we will do a, a detailed video but this was just to give you a feeling of what cloud virtual technology is a compute technology is just like Amazon Azure everybody have this thing going on now even VMware have its own now so you should think about this stuff because this is going to be the future guys and that is where things are gonna go so it's better to just kind of start playing around with it now I'm going to share this link with you guys this is a learning link for Google Cloud so you can go all over this and just kind of get better and better um, and start playing around with this stuff the last thing that I want to discuss is that majority of the calls will be first you install installation is very easy you know you install it once and you you forget about it majority of the calls in real world environment is of course you doing the infrastructure and you just kinda like do the the designing part where you install the stuff and everything is working nicely it's when things are working and after six months or a year where you have to do other things like you know okay we're running out of RAM we install this new application and it needs more RAM and this is where you need to come most of your work will be related to that then you know you just basically either install a new server but then you just need to expand the RAM in it you just change the the settings in this you know and doing all that kind of stuff you basically um, that is the main part of this whole you know your job on this cloud technology you're not doing a lot of now server swapping disk and stuff like that it's more like you're on the web browser and you can just say okay I need to give it more RAM and I'll just click on something and ex like you know the the, the the server you just you know just say okay this was two CPUs I need to make four CPUs so just click on that and restart the server you have everything in there so that's the same thing in the VMware you have done that I guess and in other things too like you know you in a virtual box you can change the things like that it's the same uh, concept it's just on a different data center and it's really easy because now on even on your computer you don't need any resources like that you just need an internet connection with a RDP like this and then that's it you just connect to it thank you for watching this this was just a small scenario or you know rough type of basic training on Google compute engine we will be doing a full course on jobskillshare.org as you guys can see our main courses which has helped this support entry level specialist has even cost more than two thousand almost getting three thousand and other courses are almost one thousand students in there I'm very proud of you guys you guys are doing great and I am very happy that you guys are supporting me in every uh, step that I'm taking in this platform thank you so much see you guys in different videos